Good morning, everybody. With the weather getting nicer and summer just right around the corner, we all have to deal with those pesky insects getting inside when you want. You know, I don't have any air conditioner or anything like that in here, so I like to keep my windows rolled down. But unfortunately, with that, flies and other things get in that I do not want coming in my windows. So I went out and bought a roll of screen and I'm gonna make some slide covers for my windows. I've never done this before, so I thought I'd just put together a video of, you know, seeing if I can come up with a solution. The method I planned on doing is, you know, just doing the slide cover over the door and I have, you know, a lot of wax string that I use for some of my crafting and uh you know i thought i'd just you know sew it together so i got i just i don't care what color it is this is a red wax string i'm going to use for the screen and i'm going to actually just do like maybe a whip stitch uh cut it short do a whip stitch trim it down um maybe even you know top it with some electrical tape or something to you know make it look a little neater or i i don't know like I said, this is a trial and error for me. I've, you know, seen people where they make their own screens and do their own their own style and methods to doing this. But, uh, you know, this is just what I chose that I was going to go ahead and give a shot. But, uh, yeah, follow along and let's see if I can come up with something. Okay, so I got my needle and wax string ready for the whip stitch. And what I did to uh, put that string on there is put it through the eye of the needle and bring it about twice the length of the needle itself. And then what you do is you take the, you take that thread and you actually put it through the thread, uh, the different strands that are in that thread and then you know pull it through wrap it around do it a second time and then you just pull that main string through until you got you know a, a, about a half inch to an inch of length and then pull both of those that second end the short end until it's tight and then just grab both and really yank on the string but uh then you got a nice tight hold on it pretty quick and easy so i got my wax string i'm gonna need quite a bit here <laughs> to go around it I don't know how much so let's go ahead and sew up one side of it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm starting at the fold here and I'm going about three three strands in and putting it through the, that fourth hole the third uncut hole and I'm just gonna knot it off there and then I'm just gonna whip stitch it around which is basically just going you know, over, under, over, under, over, under. Sewing is not my strong point. Some people use tape. I don't know what other methods people hold this stuff together with. But this is just kind of what I'm going for here. So hopefully I don't mess this all up. This could take a while. Okay, so I got the first side of the screen sewn up, which is right here. I already slid it over the top of the door and then clamped it around the curve. 
So I'm going to cut that down around the curve and then sew this side and get around the mirror section as well. But got that side all done. It's looking good. So I'm about two thirds of the way done. And all I'm doing is a simple over and under, over and under stitch, giving about two or three strands in between the cut edge and where I'm threading through. And hopefully that'll be enough to hold. I've not, never done this before, so this is kind of a trial and error kind of thing. It's been pretty time consuming, but to me it's kind of meditative and just get to sit back and relax and now unfortunately the roll that I did buy was only enough to accommodate one window it was basically the length and width of a door like a sliding door or something so two pieces took up more than half of it anyway We'll see what it looks like when we're done here. All right, so after fitting it on, it's all sewed up. I went ahead and got some Velcro stripping. I got some Velcro stripping, which I attached to the door, directly on the door. And then the side that's attached to the screen, I actually sewed on there, just using some more of that wax string. It doesn't look pretty, but it's very strongly secure. Nothing's going to get in. There's plenty of overhang here, so, you know, doesn't look like anything's going to be able to get in coming around that side. But that's one screen done. I'm going to go ahead and start on the second one.